Hello, everybody. Welcome to part 12, episode 12 of The Witcher. Ah. See, I already can't speak. Uh, of The Witcher 2 playthrough. Man, that is uh, hard to say. Um, we're gonna do a couple of things in this episode. I don't know why I'm taking this uh, long, winding path. Uh, we're gonna go visit the, the shopkeeper dude that we got the formula from, and we're gonna ask him to close his business down, because he's a jerk. He sells... Fiztech. Which is also a tie-in from the first game, I believe. You deal with some Fiztech stuff. Uh, at least in the starting area, um, or not the starting area, but the the first kind of real quest uh, hub thing in The Witcher One. Let's uh, let's convince this guy to close up shop. Welcome to my modest shop. They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here, a lady. I know they're... Alright. I've tried... Anyway. Lorito and I will see you tomorrow. Alright then. I I'll close the shop. But don't tell anyone. I, I beg you. I see you've done it. Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your award. Thank you. I have no idea what I got. Probably some stuff that I didn't need. Let's see. Probably like 20 orns or something? I don't know. Oh, by the way, um, you the rooms. Oh, shit. You'll be watching. Not the... the smartest thing. <laughs> I might not want to do that again. <laughs> Let's uh, check our quest log here. Tongue of Troll, Eyes of an Aricus, Feet is of an Andrega, and the Essence of Death. Nah. Let's do this. A place where the mentally ill had once been kept, and had never come back. Let's do that one. Because, uh, as I recall, it's kind of a fun so quest. All right at the house uh, and I believe that it involves specters. I'm gonna see if I have, uh, some specter oil. I totally do. That's gonna come in very much to play. So I'm just gonna sell off my crap here. There we go. Uh, the junk as well. Both of those, yes. Um, I I don't need this anymore. I also don't need either of these. Oh, right. Quest item. <laughs> okay. Let's... There's a green dot in here. I know uh, the dudes... Oh, I didn't know, apparently. And there are no people in here. Great stuff. Great stuff. Let's get out of here and uh, start the quest. Also, remember that I got a, a key to the bandit place and I forgot to start my stupid timer. I've probably been playing for about five minutes or something. Um, remember that I got a key to a certain bandit hideout. I have no idea where that is. I have no recollection where that is. I have a faint idea. Um, but, uh, yes. Just... Oh. 
Ow! Guy used this uh, Andrega to cloak himself and pounce me. I just need to walk up here. Just to see. I need to know, man. Because I don't remember ever going up here. Aww. Let's save. Let's uh, take some potions as well. Just to be safe, as always. Come on. Yep. Yeah, I know. We're drinking the potion. That's cool. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm a bit tired. It is currently 5 a.m. right now. Uh, a normal person would be sleeping at this hour, but... I am clearly not a normal person. I instead record a gameplay of The Witcher 2, which I believe to be much more sensible than sleeping. Okay, so this just brings me back here. I'm not going to bother going further. There probably isn't anything there anyway. So let's find uh, this ruined hospital. Uh, as you may recall, this quest uh, is regarding two dudes who went to the uh, this ruined hospital and has yet to return from it. So I'm going there to figure out what uh, happen to those guys and uh, possibly investigate the thing. The thing. Investigate the place as well. I just need. I need this. Okay. <laughs> Collect the trap. I have so many snares right now, it's not even funny. Oh, <laughs> hello. That's another trap. Right there. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Luckily, they do zero damage, as you can see. Uh, down to the right in the combat log there. Because of my armor, it absorbs everything. Luckily, it doesn't have the same status effects on me as it does uh, monsters and dudes that I fight, because they start bleeding. Which is obviously not great for me, because if I if I start bleeding, well, that's not good. I do not think this is the correct way for me to go. Probably some storytelling here. Dude playing cards. Just chilling in this cave. I don't know. I'm actually gonna take my silver sword at the ready. Samuel, finally, I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something... <laughs> What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. 
That dog got murdered. Probably by these toxic by these hackers here. And yes, I'm going to go down here. Who's the dog? Oh man, his guts are all hanging out. That sucks. Poor dog. For those wondering, I'm just uh, looking around, doing the thing, seeing there is something worthwhile around here. I don't remember there being anything around here, but did that other guy just bail? Nope. Still there, actually. Wow. These hackers have so much crap. I have used for any of this. Find my companion, I beg you. Yeah, I will. Uh, let's go in and apply the Spectre oil before I forget. <laughs> These traps become more of an annoyance than uh, than anything else, really. It's, like I said earlier, they do no damage. White leather jackets. Okay, it's a bit heavy, but and also a bit uh, not worth keeping. But yeah, they're more of an annoyance than anything else. Let's uh, fuck. let's get down here. Let's see what the fuzz is all about. Maybe. I can never remember uh, where. I was about to say I could never remember where to go in this dungeon until I remembered that this uh, dungeon is basically completely linear. And there's going to be a showdown down here. Let's quit that. Jump down. Fight some dudes. Come on. Spawn in already. You're supposed to... Come on. What the hell, man? Oh. These guys are really good at dodging my attacks, and also they're really good at doing massive amounts of damage. Which sucks for me. Fortunately, though, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Hey. Excuse me. Un uh, for uh, not unfortunately, but fortunately, I'm actually using the quick save button now. So uh, there's that. There's definitely that. I'm actually gonna set a trap as well before before doing anything else here. 
John put down. Set it a trap. And then uh, put on some Quen. This crap. Thank you for stepping directly into my bath. It's always uh, appreciated. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake! I uh, totally dodged there, but. It didn't want me to dodge. God damn it. Again, this is probably super fun for uh, viewers. Okay, let's uh, try this one more time here. I'm gonna try it as many times as I have to. Until I get it right. Damn it. Let's do Quen again. Let's screw the trap. It didn't really do uh, much damage anyway. So Take that. This. We hit, hit. That would also be great. Fire seems to do a bit of damage. That's good. The problem here is in actually dodging these motherfuckers. We barely can. Ah, they dodged me as well. <laughs> oh, that was not what I meant to do. Oh, that is also not what I meant to do. Quen, thank you. Come on. Next stab. Stop dodging me. Oh. No, I'm gonna bleed out! I bled out and died! Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Let out and died. That's that's awesome. Really cool stuff. <sighs> Let's set one trap here. That's all I have. Damn it. Let's see if I can uh, make more. Which is under alchemy for some reason. No. It's not under alchemy. I'm a dumbass. Red haze. You know, let's see if that does anything to those, to those dudes. Because why not, right? It's a learning experience. Roll. Uh, learning together. Isn't it fun? It's so much fun, man. It is so much fun. Dodging my bullshit attacks. Oh, damn it. Terrible raids. Now is the time for me to be careful as fuck. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's the best Igni I've ever casted. Straight from the floor. I'm bleeding again. Oh, uh, or hopefully. I actually didn't bleed out this time, so that's good. Essence of Death. We know I need that. So that's good. Let's collect this so I can sell it for nothing. Let's uh, actually take a look at what we picked up here. Hospital Files 3. The patient has contracted, or contracted, 
Yeah, he's, he contracted dysentery. He has contracted dysentery. There is no hope for him now. I had him isolated and ordered the prayers be said for him. I also increased the dosage dosages of his herbs. They seem to have some healing properties, but incidentally also loosen tongues. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's not allowed to read that, apparently. Hey man, oh, he wasn't real, but <laughs> they needn't have done it. Those here were innocents, and I. This dungeon is super creepy. Kind of like this. I'm gonna meditate again because, as you saw, maybe my potions ran out. So let's drink to that. My specter oil is also gonna run out, so we'll reapply that to my sword. I actually didn't see which sword he used. He should be using the silver sword. See, one on one, they're not as difficult. Or dif difficult? Man. They're not as uh, hard. To deal with, but uh, once there are two of them, or even more, uh, they charge a lot and they do a lot of bullshit that is really super annoying. No, oh, god damn it! Double Quen isn't gonna do me anything. But it's actually absorbing a bunch of damage too, which is not annoying at all. In the slightest. More essence of death. That's uh, gonna be good. Some mutagens actually. Which ones? Let's see. A strength mutagen and enhancement mutagen. I don't know if you've noticed this, but you'll see uh, on some stuff it says adrenaline G uh, ge adrenaline generation. Um, it's kind of weird that I get items pertaining to adrenaline this early in the game, where as, when, as far as I know, adrenaline isn't really introduced until. Shut up! It's not really introduced until later. The woman manifests strong symptoms of schizophrenia. To avoid marrying her beauty, marring her beauty, excuse me, I decided not to employ the standard therapy, the red hot circlet, but instead to increase her herb dosages. As she was prone to having fits of aggression, I have had the patient chained. The pictures she has painted on the walls should be analyzed. They probably should be analyzed. Yes, I agree with you 100%. Um, let's attach this fire rune to my uh, jagged blade also. You get so many runes later on that it, uh, it's better to... It's better to use them. So... They deserve to suffer! 
This apparently on the wall here is one of the paintings that she uh, has drawn. Can't really exactly make it out, but, uh, but yeah. I wonder what's behind door number one. Let's open up door number one. A bunch of crafting stuff and some enhancements and another drawing thing. It's moving. It's creeping towards me. Another drawing. Oops. It's real helpful, oh Geralt. More drawings of stuff. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine. A sedative. No way! A sedative, you say? I'm gonna open up the map again. Let's uh, look in here to see if there are any sedatives. Boost. Go away. Go away. Hello. Again, fuck me. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. All this absorbing crap is really bugging me. Hospital files again, and lo and behold, I got an entry on the wild hunt. We'll talk about that later. The eldest of our patients. This patient has been. This patient has been with us longer than any other. Cold water therapy has failed in this case, and there seems to be no promise of improvement. I've had him chained and reduced his food rations to weaken the strength of his illness of the illness, and limit his self-destructive tendencies. I have begun to employ herbs. Do you see a thread here? Herbs all over the place. The patient is persistently delusional. He claims to have been abducted by the wild hunt. 
He recounts fantasies of a world where genocide happened and where unicorns wander human graves. Sometimes his delusions contain elven gardens. Furthermore, the patient claims that when he escaped the hunt's captivity a year ago, so much time had passed in our world that he saw the graves of his children. For those of you who do not know, The Witcher 3 is called The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt or Wild Hunt. It is the central theme to The Witcher 3. So, uh, yeah. Needless to say, it's it's pretty important. I actually got a Wraith trophy. Let's see what kind of bonuses that gives us. Damage, six. I'm actually going to take it. Because why not? What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. Where former soldiers fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eder. We couldn't believe our fortune. Thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated, talked of how we would divide the treasure, and took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. But when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and willing. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her, and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nelf Guardian's corpse. Go away! That's obviously where the Nilfgaardian Wraith 
resides. Let's quick save. Let's uh, do our uh, meditation thing. And you see here, oh my god, this is so nice. I just, I just want to rest for like that long. That's all I want. <laughs> Obviously that didn't do anything, but uh, still, it's a nice thing to have. As you probably could have guessed by now, I'm waiting for uh, these potions to go down so I can uh, drink three more and uh, put on the oil as well. I'm actually going to uh, apply the oil after the fight has started in case he draws a weapon, and that weapon uh, isn't the sword that I put the thing on. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that you use uh, silver swords here, but you he might draw the steel sword because it's a kind of it's kind of a human kind of because the silver sword is a monster sword. Let's find out. A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one. Shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. Serve to suffer. Go away. I don't remember. It's it's I know I say this every fucking episode. I don't remember this part of the quest. And I met the Nilf Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you, do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts, anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. Poetic justice. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Witcher. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you brought. Fool, who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived. You sought to rob me of my revenge, dog. You shall share the fate of those thieves. Oh. It's not a great way to start this. Uh, fuck. 
That is really not a great way to start this by him just having my health. Not great. Take that. Rolly McGee here, but uh, it's a necessary evil. For fights like this, and I accidentally stepped in the shit. Which is always a great thing. last one. The patient's drawings seem to confirm the diagnosis of schizophrenia. The cruelty pre prevalent in them undoubtedly stems from childhood events. A star... A stra Jesus, I'm sorry. A strong trauma, to be confirmed, coupled with a dominating mother, have warped this poor creature's mind. The patient will receive treatment. I have decided to increase the dosage of her herb mixture. In addition to its healing properties, the concoction seems to force patients to reveal the truth about themselves, and the truth frees us. Ominous indeed. floor down now. Running around in circles is what I'm doing. I'm not exactly in circles, but I'm running around like a dumbass. Why? Jesus, why can't I find my way out of this fucking shithole? It's here? Yeah, it's here. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? I destroyed the Nilfgaardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. I've lifted the curse, but the perpetrators must be punished. What are you going to do? I'll take you to Laredo. Let him pass judgment. No. Not him. Just not him. We'll not go anywhere. Shut up. Actually never done that before. Halt! Who you got there? Murderers. Lorito needs to judge them. Get out of here. Look at him acting like a constable. Guests? How nice. Bring him to me. We shall talk about the good old days. <laughs> I do believe that that was actually uh, the old, uh, uh, the old, the lady the they talked oh. about. Oh. Yes, hello. A man of the same calling. Ah, oh, welcome. 
thank you. Uh, yes, I have Essence of Death. Might have a fetus. Let's see what I have here. Um, essence of Death. Not a fetus. I have an embryo, though. That probably doesn't count. It's the same thing. Uh, Troll's tongue I don't have, but uh, that's... It is being sold. Okay. Uh, let's end this right here. Thank you for watching. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention before I quit out, if you enjoy this playthrough, click that like button. I hate saying this because it's so like, hey, do this and blah blah blah, but uh, please click the like button, that helps me tremendously. Uh, also subscribe if you want to, you don't have to, it'd be awesome. Uh, but thanks and I'll see you in the next episode.